Although rumors of a new aircraft from Boeing had simmered for years, no one anticipated the true impact of the name 797 once it was officially mentioned. From major airlines to market analysts, the entire aviation industry was suddenly shaken by the first news Boeing revealed, a project that is not merely a new product, but a declaration of the future. So what makes the 797 so highly anticipated? And why does Boeing now need an entirely new aircraft? Let's see. In the late 2010s, the aviation industry was abuzz with rumors. Boeing was quietly planning an entirely new aircraft, one that could redefine the mid-market segment. As early as the mid-2010s, Boeing had already identified a significant market gap large enough to justify designing a completely new aircraft from scratch. And that opportunity was far from imaginary. Many major airlines quickly expressed interest in a twin-aisle jet made from lightweight composite materials, one that could deliver the fuel efficiency of a narrow body while carrying significantly more passengers. Everything seemed poised for a breakthrough. The U.S. manufacturer has to consider continue stretching the 737 MAX line or embark on a bold and risky journey with a brand new aircraft, what would later be called the 797. In the end, they opted for the safer path, developing the 737 MAX 10. But the dream of the 797 was never shelved. This manufacturer believed in the massive potential of this aircraft, even though the project was postponed, with a tentative return set for the mid-20. In 2020, the company officially paused development of the 797. Yet, just a year later, a flicker of hope was reignited. They restarted the project, this time with a shorter variant aiming for an entry into service by the end of the decade. The estimated cost is 25 billion USD a hefty investment that reflects the aircraft maker's seriousness. Unfortunately, by June 20, 2022, the project was frozen once again. The reasons were complex, a lack of suitable engine technology, constrained development resources, and perhaps most critically, an erosion of trust. After a string of high-profile controversies, Boeing's reputation was no longer something the industry could bet on without hesitation. But why does Boeing need an entirely new aircraft like the 797 right now? This may be Boeing's last chance to restore its shaken reputation and reclaim dominance in the mid-market segment. Firstly, the 797, also known as the new mid-size airplane, NMA, is no ordinary aircraft. Even when it existed only on paper, it was seen as a strategic game-changer, with potential sales of over 4,000 units. That's a figure significant enough to shift the balance of power in the aviation industry. Notably, the 797 isn't just an upgrade. It's an aircraft that straddles two factors, the range and capacity of a wide body with the flexible efficiency of a narrow body, which means it's designed to fly as far as a large jet while offering the operating costs of a single aisle aircraft. With 30% more profit and 40% lower costs, it's a proposition the market simply can't ignore. Secondly, the aviation industry needs an aircraft such as Boeing NMA. The aircraft is envisioned as the ideal successor to the legendary 757, a once iconic aircraft that ruled the skies before being discontinued in 2004. Today, about half of all 757s ever delivered are still flying, most of them in the United States and many serving as freighters. But the golden era of the 757 is clearly fading. Delta and FedEx have begun scaling back their fleets, while Icelandair is gradually retiring what was once the backbone of its operations. Notably, Jet2 officially withdrew its final 757 in early 2025, marking the end of the aircraft's presence in UK skies. The story doesn't end there. The 757's wide-body sibling, the Boeing 767, is also nearing the end of its road. The last time a passenger airline ordered a 767 was back in 2008. Since then, the production line has stayed alive thanks to freighter demand, but with only 104 units remaining on backlog, the 767 now has the smallest order book of all Boeing's commercial aircraft. The writing is on the wall. The end of the 767 production line is just a matter of time. In contrast to the market's demand, the US aerospace giant has chosen to bet everything on the 737 MAX, a name that was once a source of pride, but is now synonymous with controversy. The company could have allowed the 737 series to end as one of the most successful icons in aviation history. But instead of stopping at its peak, Boeing pressed on with a series of patchwork upgrades leading to the creation of the 737 MAX, a name now linked to trust crises and safety scandals. 
Though the aircraft has been cleared to fly again, the MAX still evokes caution among both aviation experts and passengers. Lingering technical issues remain unresolved, and public sentiment is far from ready to forget what happened. Nevertheless, the company continues to commit to the MAX program, with the MAX 7 and MAX 10 variants still waiting for certification, an ongoing process with no clear end in sight. But now, Boeing has to reconsider. The U.S. manufacturer's need for an entirely new aircraft isn't just about damage control after the MAX crisis, but also reclaiming market share loss to Airbus. In the mid to long range segment, the Airbus A321 XLR has surged ahead with its extended range, low operating costs, and unmatched flexibility. This manufacturer's lack of a comparable offering in this category has led many airlines to turn away and opt for Airbus instead. That's why the arrival of the 797 would not only be a strategic move, it would be a direct response to regain lost ground. More than that, its potential becomes even greater, considering reports that the NMA will also include a freighter variant, targeting the booming cargo market, which is the U.S. aircraft maker's strength and growing stronger than ever. In short, this isn't just about nostalgia for legendary aircraft like the 757 or 767, it's a decisive move to confront a rival that's gaining strength. With the 797, Boeing isn't merely building a product, it's attempting to redefine itself as a formidable competitor ready to reclaim the throne. Boeing has spent years meticulously refining every detail of an aircraft expected to usher in a new era for commercial aviation, the NMA. More than just a fresh design, it stands as a bold declaration reaffirming the company's leadership in a market that's hungrier than ever for innovation and efficiency. According to leaked details, the NMA is expected to debut with two configuration variants. The first, likely named the 797-6 would carry around 225 passengers with a range of up to 9,260 kilometers, ideal for transcontinental routes. Meanwhile, the second version, the Dash 7, would accommodate roughly 275 passengers, but with a shorter range of about 7,408 kilometers, targeting high density routes that don't require long distance travel. This strategy allows Boeing to flexibly tap into both segments of the mid-market, where cost efficiency and operational effectiveness are critical. But the core factor determining the success or failure of the NMA program lies in its engine selection. Boeing is aiming for a new generation of high-bypass turbofan engines with around 20 tons of thrust, an estimated bypass ratio of 10-1, and an overall pressure ratio reaching up to 51, figures that could redefine aviation standards. Industry giants such as GE Aviation, CFM International, Pratt & Whitney, and Rolls-Royce with their ultrafan engine are all seen as potential partners. A fuel-efficient engine would clearly give the 797 a competitive edge, but if it's also easy to maintain, minimizes ground time, and supports sustainable aviation fuels, SAF, or even hydrogen, then the NMA wouldn't just be ahead of its time, it could become a symbol of aviation's future. In addition to the engine system, the aircraft's fuselage is also a strategically calculated element. Many sources suggest that Boeing will apply a composite material design similar to that of the 787 Dreamliner, lighter, stronger, and more efficient. The benefits go beyond reduced weight and improved fuel economy. Carbon fiber materials also allow this company to design cabins with lower pressurization and higher humidity levels, noticeably enhancing passenger comfort, especially on long haul flights. This is an experience airlines are increasingly interested in as onboard comfort is becoming a direct competitive factor in the market. Another important technical detail is the landing gear, which is designed to be taller than previous generations. This not only allows compatibility with newer, larger, and more powerful engines, but also improves stability during landing by reducing the risk of nose strikes or gear collapse when touching down at high speeds. Raising the landing gear also provides flexibility for future engine variants and helps optimize maintenance costs, an obvious benefit for airline operators. Ultimately, what makes the 797 truly special is the convergence of Boeing's long-standing experience with composite materials and its strategic vision for the future of aviation. This giant understands that an aircraft can't rely solely on superior technical specs, it must strike a balance between operational efficiency and user experience. If the NMA succeeds, it won't just be a new product, it will mark the beginning of a new era of efficient, sustainable, and highly anticipated 
mid-range air travel. But the Boeing NMA won't be easily entering the market. On the contrary, it must go head-to-head -head with one of the toughest rivals today, the Airbus A321neo, especially its long-range variant, the A321XLR. With proven fuel efficiency, long-range capability, and hundreds of orders already secured, the XLR holds a clear advantage in terms of time to market and airline confidence. Its ability to operate transatlantic routes without needing to switch to wide-body aircraft makes it an extremely appealing option for carriers seeking cost-effective operations in the mid-range segment. The Boeing 797, meanwhile, is expected to target a similar segment, but with a different approach. With its largest version, the NMA-7, this aircraft can carry more passengers than the A321XLR, offering airlines the chance to optimize cost per seat especially on high-demand routes. However, higher capacity alone won't be enough to gain a competitive edge unless this manufacturer can crack the code on fuel efficiency, a crucial factor in an era of volatile fuel prices and increasingly strict environmental commitments. This is the time when Boeing could turn the tide. By taking advantage of its longer development timeline, it has the opportunity to integrate more advanced engine technologies, surpassing the current performance benchmarks set by the A321XLR. If the 797 can adopt a new engine system with a high bypass ratio, ultra-high pressure ratio, and compatibility with alternative fuels like SAF or even hydrogen, it could not only match but outperform Airbus in terms of environmental efficiency. That's a strategic card. Airbus's biggest rival must play with great precision. Of course, Airbus is no easy opponent to outmaneuver. The A321XLR is already being produced on a highly optimized assembly line, with major carriers like American Airlines, United, Indigo, and AirAsia having placed their bets on its efficiency. Moreover, the XLR's early entry into service means it can capture market share and establish operational norms before the NMA even takes off. That means Boeing not only has to build a better aircraft, but must do so quickly and convincingly. The showdown between the Boeing 797 and Airbus A321XLR is more than just a clash between two aircraft. It's a battle between two design philosophies, two market strategies, and two visions for the future of aviation. The winner won't just secure sales figures, but could shape the entire direction of medium haul operations for the next decade. In this fierce competition, every liter of fuel saved, every extra passenger seat, and every gram of emissions reduced, could be the deciding factor. The NMA holds the potential to redefine the future of commercial aviation, but the road ahead is steep. To realize that ambition, Boeing must urgently address its current safety issues and present a clear, compelling strategy for its next generation aircraft programs. Time is not on their side. Any delay could hand the playing field to Airbus. Do you think 797 can bring Boeing back to the top position? Share your thoughts with us. As always, thanks for being here. Wishing you always safe and enjoyable flights.